Francia, Colombia, me gusta Freeze, y Balvin, Willy William, me gusta Freeze, lo dije no miente, le gusta mi gente y eso se fue mucho. I was always a dramatic child, I grew up in a household in Mexico, my grandfather uh, was a famous uh, movie director. And so the idea of the arts, the idea of, of people writing a poem on a napkin during lunch was a very common thing. My dad was one of eight children, so we were 28 cousins growing up. So when we would get together, we'd be about 68 people in one room. And I was one of the older girl cousins, and so I got to boss people around a lot. And one of my favorite memories was putting on Medusa, the play. I was directing that, and I made everybody put on uh, mops for their hair. So I've been using the arts to navigate the real world in many, many different ways. I just didn't know I would become a playwright. I have been a part of the Denver Center family for a while and I'm really proud of it. And I think I might be the only living playwright that's had a play produced in every single theater. My first play was Mariela in the Desert, directed by Bruce Seavey, and that was in the smaller theater and it was a beautiful experience. Then uh, my second play at the Denver Center was Just Like Us, directed by uh, Kent Thompson and that was based on the famous book by Helen Thorpe. The third one was Native Gardens, directed by Lisa Portes in The Round. And all of them um, talk about Latino stories from a different point of view, a different age, a different perspective, and in a very universal way, I think. I know the Denver Center was one of the first regional theaters to believe that including Latinos in the narrative and in the canon was important and one of the first ones to kind of start commissioning works from a diverse group of people to kind of expand the idea of what American theater means. There's been so much loss and so much anxiety and worry, but at the same time, I, I have gotten to spend a lot of time with my children who have been, oddly enough, not fighting with each other. And so there's a lot of pleasure in that. We've discovered new TV shows that we like watching. I'm finally doing these projects that I wanted to do for a long time, like writing short stories about my family. So there's different ways, sleeping in a lot more, gaining 10 pounds is lovely, I guess. <laughs> Just I am writing a collection of short stories based on my family in Mexico, which is in a sense, kind of a scrapbook of memories. Uh, one that I presented a monologue many years at the Denver Summit. So it's become like a novel in a sense. And I'm also toying with some other genres. I'm writing a little bit of TV and writing hopefully a musical um, and doing a lot of these small projects for theaters um, that trying to grab a moment in time and capturing it both for film or monologues, or finding different ways of how we do theater or how do we dialogue in the time of COVID. I just really hope that we get to be together soon. Um, I love Denver, I love being part of the Denver Center, and I really appreciate the theater's efforts to make us feel connected and find different ways for us to keep being in community together. So thank you very, very much.